Hi, myself Pratik Bhatia. Today we will discuss cursor handling, an important topic of peer SQL. Cursor is the area of memory that Oracle Engine uses for its internal processing for executing and storing the result of SQL statement. So whenever we fire a SQL statement in PL SQL, Oracle internally uses a area and that area memory is called as cursor. We have two type of cursor, one is implicit cursor and explicit cursor. In today's session we will learn about implicit cursor with practical hands on on PL SQL. So let's shift to PL SQL and write first program with the use of implicit cursor. Let us consider this employee table. These are the records of employee table with column like employee number, name, job, salary and department number. If I issue update statement on this table for simple change in salary like this way. In SQL statement, I will get the information about the result of this update statement and it simply states that 6 rows has been updated. But when I put this update statement into PLSQL block by writing begin and end, now this will become a PLSQL block. What will be the output after execution of this statement? You can check that it gives the output like statement processed but it does not display the total number of rows updated. So in order to get the information about total number of rows updated due to this update statement, we have to use the concept of cursor. And in this case, we are going to use the concept of implicit cursor. So now it is important to understand what is implicit cursor. Actually what happens when we execute this update statement, Oracle internally create so Oracle internally create one implicit cursor that is the active area for the processing of this update statement. All the records which are updated by this statement will be processed in this active area. So that active area of memory is called as cursor. So here we have to check the status of that cursor. So this implicit this type of cursor is called as implicit cursor. So implicit cursor is declared by PLSQL block implicitly for all SQL statements and they are opened and managed by Oracle internal Oracle engine internally. The name of the implicit cursor is SQL. So we have to check the status of this implicit cursor in order to know that whether record has been updated or not. So here we have four attributes to check the status of this implicit cursor and these attributes are is open percentage count, percentage not found and percentage row count. So we can use SQL percentage found or not found to check that whether record has been updated or not. And in order to get the total number of rows updated, we can use SQL percentage row count. So now let's apply this concept in PLS and if there is no record has been found, then we can display no row has been updated. So if here I have used if block, so it is important to terminate it with. It is important to note that there is a space between and and if. So now our program is ready to execute. So let's execute it. And you can clearly check that it shows that rows have been updated. Now if I change, if I add bear statement into this, where E number equal to let's go 600, it does not have any corresponding record. So the output is no rows has been updated. So no row has been updated. If I give a employee number which is not present in the database, but if I update it for whole table, the message is rows have been updated. Now the next task is to de detect how many rows have been updated. So for this, we can use SQL. For this, we can use SQL percentage row count. So SQL percentage row count can be used in DBMS output put line to display the total number of records updated by this last DML that is update statement. So when I execute this statement, so now let's execute this statement 
and here I will get the message six rows have been updated. So in order to make it better, let's add space between that. And when I execute it, I get information like six, six rows have been updated. But if I add here e number equal to 800, which does not have any record, so the message will be no row have been updated. I can also concatenate this row count in this also to check the total number of rows updated in that case. So in this case, zero no has been updated. So zero row has been updated and if I skip this, it will show six rows have been updated. So this is all about implicit cursor and with the use of implicit cursor, we can check the status of last DML statement in PLS script with the use of SQL percentage found and not found attributes and SQL percentage row count play important role to check the total number of rows updated or processed by last DML statement. In next session we will learn about explicit cursor. Thank you.